Okay, I've uh, demonstrated about 20 different ways of proving a spin on a magnet is inverse on either pole. Here we have a 100% uh, 199.9% pure bismuth disc and a 3 millimeter neodymium iron boron in 42 gauss. One pole is marked green and the other pole is marked black. You will notice, let me just tilt it off of here. Notice the spin as I tilt the neodymium off the bismuth. Okay, green side will roll off clockwise. Now let's put the other pole, you can see it's marked black. It's hard to zoom in, but you can see that it's black, it's the other pole. So now let's slide the black side off. There we go, we got a good slide. Look, counterclockwise. No tricks, there's nothing else here. There's only one magnet here. What's the importance of this video? What's the importance of this video? There is one magnet here. One. Only one. Yes, I'll show it again. Green side. It's hard to focus in. Let me show you here. Green side there. So let's spin the green side off. It will go off clockwise. You can see the color. No trickery. Clockwise. Great. Now let's put the other pole. So we only have one magnet here. One. And our bismuth, the most diamagnetic element in the universe. So to show that there is inverse spin on either pole, no electromagnets, not even two magnets. One magnet only. Black side, slide it off. Counterclockwise. Let's see it again. Someone's going to accuse me of trickery. Counterclockwise. Rolled off rather quick, as it obviously should. Green side. Clockwise. Yes, yes, that's right. How are you going to refute this one? No, you're not going to. Yes, my model of magnetism is accurate. My model of how a magnet works is accurate. Skeptics are never going to believe anything. I could give them a hundred more examples. They still won't believe it. It's not about skeptics skeptics proving them right or wrong. It's about showing the facts. Intelligent people will see and understand. Black side. Counterclockwise. Let's put it on the green side. It's hard to grab a, a neodymium that's only three millimeters. It's a tiny little sucker. Green side up. Clockwise. You get the picture now? What's the importance of this video? This video doesn't exist anywhere. This is the first time you've ever seen this. That's correct. No electricity involved. Well, there is at the interatomic. At the radius. Interatomic is magnetodielectricity. No two magnets. No applied charge. Only our diamagnetic bismuth and our little tiny cube neo. Black side. Counterclockwise. I don't know how many times I have to show this to people. Well, I just couldn't get, couldn't see it. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, because here it is. Perform the experiment yourself. Don't take my word for it. My model of magnetism is accurate. Green side. Try to tilt it off slowly. You see? Clockwise. Ta-da! Yes, he was right. There is inverse spin on a magnet. And the way to demonstrate that is using a super diamagnetic element, the most diamagnetic element, and a teeny little magnet that has very little gravitational attraction. So, what you're able to do is demonstrate by using a low gravitational attraction neodymium on top of a high diamag the highest diamagnetic element, bismuth. So here we got our black side again. Counterclockwise. Ta-da! You've never seen this before. Yes, my theory of magnetism and how magnetism and dielectricity conjugate each other inside magnetism is radiation is discharge it is the it is the excreta of dielectricity and discharge as per the Poincaré disk model that is actually how magnetism goes out I'll answer in the book if I can get to it in the third edition why must magnetism return and reciprocate see those are the big questions well we know we know he said that magnetism reciprocates the other side but why why not like all radiation doesn't just magnetism just go out and stay out well, I answer those questions. I've got those for you up upcoming. Trust me. Here we go. Clockwise green. As you'll notice over here, we have a teeny little, I think it's a 1.2 millimeter cube. You can't actually see it. 
but it's actually balancing on its edge because it's so lightweight it's actually attracted to a neodymium let me show you something neat on these particular magnets is that they're so lightweight our magnetic viewing film here it actually sticks to it I don't know if you can see that or not it's hard to see a teeny little magnet like that but you can see it's as it should be because they're just ferrous particles in our magnetic viewing film here but uh, you can actually see the print on the magnet on the other side there you go right up there right there but anyway you can see it's stuck stuck to the viewing film I can actually push it around yeah it's fascinating I thought you'd like that you see the little track it leaves like a little snail track fascinating anyway so now I've proven it this first time anybody's ever seen it using one magnet only and showing I had it along the inertial plane then uh, green side up roll it off you see it's rolling off clockwise no trickery involved here I'm able to show it to you inverse spin using one tiny little magnet counterclockwise Ta-da! It's over with, folks. This is, I think, my 14th model. Maybe it's the 15th or 16th. I've shown it so many ways to Sunday. Well, I still don't believe it. I need some more proof. I need more proof. I need more proof. Well, intelligent people will understand. I've got it. What is unfolding before you in all these videos and in the upcoming editions of the 3rd and 4th edition of Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism is the first time humanity has ever got a glimpse into how a quote-unquote magnet works how magnetism quote works why it works the how's the where's the why's I will answer for you questions very soon upcoming as to why magnetism reciprocates why does it not just go out and stay out all the really important questions descriptions are one thing explanations are another you've seen it here first working hard on the third edition there's just so so much to add though that uh, you're gonna have to wait to the fourth edition I'm sorry but uh, Hey, you know, you're getting it all for free, and uh, not selling anything to you, so I'm so glad to give you this information. I'm glad you're able to see it, and uh, especially see stuff that, that you'll never see in your college uh, physics classes. No explanations, just descriptions and nonsense, virtual particles. It's ridiculous absurdity. Well, that's, that's a new one. You've not seen that before. And there's a little trick I showed you. I'm using a tiny little one point, I think 1.2 millimeter cube neodymium. It's usually it's a little snail track. And it is attracted. It won't fall down because of the ferrous particles inside the magnetic viewing film. Ta-da! Showing inverse spin on either pole using one magnet only. You've seen it here first. Catch you later.